A well-executed breakout is critical to team success. A well-executed investment plan is critical to financial success. Let me develop a plan with your goals in mind. John Moore for sportsandmore.com, joined by Campbell Pickard of the Miramichi Timberwolves in the championship final series against the Toronto Bearcats. Campbell here, tell me about the, tell me about the season you first in the Maritime Hockey League. Uh, yeah, I had a pretty good season personally, and obviously a great season as a team to make it here to the final and just some unfinished business. But uh, all in all, I had a pretty good time in Miramichi, and it was a uh, pretty good season for me. Well, it's great to be playing in April. Uh, of course, you started in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, originally drafted by Bay Kamoa onto, onto Bathurst and then eventually in Moncton. Uh, tell me a little bit about that because obviously you'd prefer at that point to stay in the queue and have a long and successful career in the queue. Yeah, obviously originally that was my goal to have a good career in the queue and I just kind of bounced around a bit and never, never really found my spot. I had some success at times, like a good run with Moncton uh, last year into the semifinal. But uh, I just, like, like I said, I never really found my spot and now that I'm here, I'm getting comfortable and uh, I think I've really uh, found a good spot and I've uh, started playing really good hockey here with Miramichi. Yeah, I'll talk to your coach about your contributions, but can you pinpoint, can you point to a thing or two that perhaps prevented you from having that success that you so much wanted in the Quebec League? I think the first thing was probably just my skating. It's a little bit of a faster league, so it's hard for me to keep up and just if uh, when I'm not keeping up as well, it's hard for me to make plays. And then the other thing was just confidence. Like I said, I never really settled in. So uh, confidence is a huge part of my game, and I don't think I was, I was as confident in the Quebec League as I am now here in the Maritime League. Yeah, tell me about that, how you've come to where you are today. Again, obviously, first year in any, any league, you, you, you want to take it a step at a time, but uh, obviously it's grown over the season. Uh, yeah, it, it took a little bit to get settled in, but like I said, I think the biggest thing for me was confidence, and it just, like you said, it took time. So uh, once I got settled in, I started playing good hockey here. Uh, I think once my confidence grew, my game really started to come along this season. Campbell, how different a player are you now than you were when you were in the queue? Uh, I still try to keep the same concepts, keep my game simple, but I was more of a checker, a fighter maybe in the queue, and here I can put up a little bit of points. But no matter what kind of style of, play I'm, style of hockey I'm playing, it's, it's always chipping pucks and working hard and moving my feet. So no matter what, I'm just a hard-working, gritty player. But you're producing offense. Your numbers are good. Yeah. Uh, I just, I just kept working hard this season, and uh, I was fortunate enough to play with some good line mates, so it kind of came along, and I was able to get a few points. But just keep working hard and doing the little things is, is the biggest thing for me. Like when he first came here, I mean, you look at his stats. I think he had one assist in 20 games with Moncton. He might have had one goal and a few assists in Bathurst. Not numbers at all. Uh, when he came here, I said, give us an opportunity. We'll let you develop as a player. We'll give you opportunities that you haven't had since midget. And uh, he took the most of them. He uses his big body down low, and I think his confidence has grown. And as a player, he's grown. And, and if he continues to develop, I have no, no doubt that he'll be a CIS player. Yeah, I hear whispers in the backgrounds uh, that uh, eventually uh, there are teams in the AUS and perhaps the CIS that would like to see him on their roster. Oh, I would, I would assume so. I mean, he's a big body that has good hockey sense. Those are hard to find, especially in the centermen. You know, I liken him. I mean, we had Mark Simpson up in Bathurst, and I see a lot of that there. I'm not going to say Simmer is pretty good in his face-offs and good in his PK, and he plays big mins for Gardner up at UMB as a rookie, but I definitely see Campbell being able to play in the CIS for sure. How often do you see that, where a player struggles to have a significant major junior career and yet takes another path and ends up perhaps in the CIS? I think it's opportunity. Opportunity and confidence are two huge things. And, and like I said, I think if you look back at Campbell, he was a fourth-round pick at Bay Como. I was, that was my last year in Halifax that year. The draft is in Shakutami. And uh, well, like you said, most fourth-round picks have a little bit probably more success at, at the Q level than Campbell did. Um, but he had good numbers in midget. He had really good numbers as a 16-year-old in junior A. And now he's putting them back here at 19 years old. So... Like, uh, we hope he's back with us as, as a 20, and if he does, I, I, I would say he'll push that 100 point next year. Hopefully in your future as a Maritime Hockey League championship, but beyond that, beyond this season, talk about what, what opportunities there might be for you. Uh, nothing's changed yet. Still, like, the biggest goal is to try and play professional hockey, and if not, I'll, I've always wanted to play university hockey, get an education, and, and play maybe in the AUS or in the CIS. So the, that's probably where I look to end up in the next couple of years is to play university hockey.